Hey. Hey. So it hit me this morning and I wanted to come on and talk to you all about in the car again. I think that's where a lot of scopes are going to take place because it's the quietest um, part of my day is being in the car. So it hit me today. Um, I've been at this parenting thing for mm, almost 14 years. If you count um, just dating small people over 14 years. So why is it so hard to let go, not just of our kids uh, for one thing, but why is it so hard to let go of the idea of what it was going to be like to be parents? Why, why is it hard to let go of the vision of the way that we pictured our life before kids? Why is that so hard for us? Or maybe it's just me, but here's what I think all the time is like, well, my house was going to be a lot cleaner as a parent. My kids were going to be a certain way, right? They were going to act a certain way or, or like certain things, or you can see my, my daughter's helmet, that blue in the back right there. She plays roller derby. And it's not something I ever pictured any of my kids doing is playing roller derby at, well, she started when she was six years old and now she's almost nine. So like what, how, why is it so hard to say, you know, this is, this is our, our life now, even when it's really beautiful and we're super grateful for it, we still find times where we have pangs of, it's not what I envisioned. So I wonder, I was wondering this morning as I'm kind of going through my day, I have a long drive up here where I'm at right now. And so I'm thinking during my drive, like, why, why is that so hard? Other than like the really obvious things of like, you, you pictured a certain way and it, it was the right way for me. I can tell you for me, why it's so hard to let go of the way things were supposed to be I'm using finger quotes. And it's because of my personality. Mm. Like I like to know that I know things before I've even tried them. Maybe you have kids like that, or maybe you are that way yourself where, um, you kind of feel like you need you're expected or you need to have all the answers before you've even gone through the process. I'm one of those people. I'll raise my hand. I'll be the first one to say when somebody asks me a question, I feel like I have to have the right answer. When, um, when I'm discussing a subject with somebody else, I feel like I should already know everything. I should already be an expert in that because I don't know exactly why, because it's my personality. I'm feeling like I've gone through school, a, a lot of it. <laughs> I have three kids. I have a lot of life experience. And so I, I started thinking I should really know that I should really know that. And somehow it's a reflection on us when we don't have all the answers or when what we thought was our vision ends up being not, not even what we want, let alone what we actually get. By the time we get it, we're, we are already going, you know what? That's not that's not even what I would want now, but it's still hard to let go of that because those were our right answers before we got to that place. If you have a personality like mine, or maybe you don't, and it's still hard to let go of the way you thought things were supposed to be or the way your kids were supposed to be keeping this about parenting too. Um, it might be because you feel like you're expected to have all the answers before you even begin. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit. So that's what hit me today is, Hey, Jess, you don't need to have all the answers before you've even begun. In fact, you don't have to have all the answers when you get to the end. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to have the right vision. You don't even have to have a vision. Just live it. Just be in the moment with it. But I realized that's why it's so hard for me It's because I feel like I'm, I need to have the answers for other people. If they don't have the answers, then I need to supply those for them, that it's my responsibility. And it's not, it's not our responsibility to already know everything we, before we've begun. And it's not our responsibility to supply the answers for other people. So I hope this has been helpful to somebody and, um, 
That was my own little epiphany and I'm still sort of working on it, but I wanted to jump right on and tell you guys about it. Um, for lots of parenting info, you can follow up at my website. That's earlyendeavors.com. Um, but this was just one of those things that sort of hit me this morning. I want to share that, that story and that journey with you. And I hope that this resonates deeply with you all. So thank you so much for watching and I will, um, see you very soon.